Good morning. This morning, uh, this morning, I'm going to be sharing with you two techniques that I use to help me answer questions. And uh, the questions that I um, have is can be very personal things. Anything that I want to know um, that uh, I normally don't use um, my intuition or anything. Sometimes uh, even psychics and stuff we, <laughs> or uh, intuitives, um, it's difficult to read, um, make readings on ourselves. And sometimes even when we try to help other people, we, we get stuck. So um, there are some other tools that I use besides my intuition to help me answer questions. Um, the first thing, um, the first method I'm going to be showing you is a method of associative remote viewing, okay? We can use associative uh, remote viewing to answer many different questions. The thing about it is that um, we need to consider how we address um, the situations we're looking at. If we make the questions very difficult, then um, even a really good psychic will have a difficult time uh, reading or finding answers. However, if we learn to simplify the questions and reduce these your inquiries to a series of questions that can be answered by yes or no. Um, when you have choices like that, either yes or no, <laughs> black or white, um, it helps in the decision-making process much easier. Okay, so um, I have assembled right before me um, the different things that I use in this method of uh, social remote viewing. The first thing I have is a envelope, and if you take a look at the envelope, um, this is a zip-up envelope where um, this is a zipper over here. You can use um, <clears throat> any type of envelope that is sturdy because you're going to be using this envelope a lot. And if you notice, there's two marks over here. One is a green, that's yes, and then over here, the pink is no, <laughs> okay? So green light, go for it. The red light, no, stay away, okay? So that's the meaning behind um, this. Now, what are we going to be putting in here, okay? So the next item that we have are a series of envelopes, and these are envelopes that I have. I have 10 over here, and each envelope contains a photograph. Okay, and uh, I'll show you one of the photographs, okay, and this one is a group of people drumming, okay, so these are uh, African drummers in an arch, okay, so <clears throat> what I've done is that I've collected 10 different photographs and placed them in security envelopes so I cannot see them. And I try and cut all of the pictures um, to the same size so they look the same. Because sometimes even when I hold it up here, in security envelopes, you can tell the size of the photo. And sometimes uh, <laughs> that will influence your, your thoughts. So if you keep the uh, pictures the same size, fold it the same way and put it in so that uh, when you look at the envelope, you, you, know, uh, you, you, uh, you know it's randomized. Okay, so now you take these and you put it in here, and you can you can use this to store your photos uh, when you're not doing uh, when you're not using them. Again, associative remote viewing is um, <clears throat> in order to have it work, you need to have targets, and that's what these are. These are targets, okay? And when we're going to be using them in this situation, we're going to be uh, pulling a question that can be answered by yes or no, and we're going to need two targets. One envelope, the first one we're going to be putting, is going to be representing yes. I put them here, right behind the Y. The second envelope, okay, is going to be no, and we're going to be putting it right here, right behind the note. 
So now you have two choices that your mind can kind of like look at and decide which of these pictures will give you the right answer. Okay. So that's how associative remote viewing works. So the targets in here, whatever picture in here is going to be yes. Whatever picture in here is going to be no. So this is something that you can set up. Okay. Real easy. Uh, if you're running into trouble trying to find pictures, you can go online <laughs> and download a bunch of pictures and make copies. All you need is 10, anywhere from 10 to 20, and rotate the question on the pictures uh, as you go. So this is the first thing. Now, like I said, um, in order to make this work, you need some questions, okay? And what I've done is that I've taken a series of questions a number of questions, wrote them down on a piece of paper, and all of these questions can be answered by yes or no. Okay? So I'll give you an example. If you have a relationship problem where uh, your boyfriend or girlfriend, you think they're cheating, uh, why beat around the bush and say, is my, is my, um, my, my boyfriend or girlfriend cheating on me? What does cheating mean? Okay. Um, is stealing money from you or whatever and stuff. You need to be clear about your question. So uh, a better question if you suspect <laughs> your boyfriend or girlfriend, um, you know, fooling around. Don't say fool around. You say, is my boyfriend or girlfriend having sex with another person? Okay. That's a clear question, okay? So that can be answered by yes or no, okay? So what I've done is that I have uh, five questions inside here. And the reason why I fold it up uh, and put it in here and shaking it around is that by doing this, I'm randomizing the question and I don't know what question I'm uh, dealing with when I first pull it out, okay? Now to help, um, the final tool that we need <clears throat> to come along with this uh, process is that we need something to record our impressions. And that is <laughs> a piece of paper or a steno pad. Uh, I like to record all of my readings, so I use a steno pad. And the steno pad, when I'm done, I can fold it over and use it over and over again. Like uh, last night while I was practicing, uh, I was making some sketches here, some reads to kind of get back in to using this system. Okay, so this is a steno pad and you need a good writing pen. Now, um, this is the associative remote viewing uh, method of answering a question by yes or no. For some of you out there, uh, you already use this other uh, instrument or implement um, to answer yes or no questions. And um, one other thing that I use in answering simple questions, either yes or no, is a dowsing pendulum. And this is mine. This is made out of brass. Okay, I have multiple... Um, dousing and pendulums. I have brass, copper. I also have some that's made out of different crystals and each one of them have its own um, use. And this one I've been using for yes or, no, yes or no questions and it works really well for me. So um, this way I have, I'm using two different methods to uh, inquire about the same question. So I have one answer using um, the envelopes, okay? And another answer that's gonna come out from the pendulum. And if they agree, then you have a really good uh, answer uh, before you. If you disagree, then um, maybe um, either the question was worded you know, wrong or this is something that you need to comp contemplate more okay so to start this process <laughs> um, I'm going to 
the first thing you need to do is pick a question. Again, this is randomized. Uh, I know the questions, but I don't know which one I pulled here. There's no markings or anything on it. So I'll set this aside. And put this on the side. The next thing I'll do is grab my envelopes. And when I get the envelopes to randomize the pictures, I shuffle it. And then I pick my first envelope, okay? So I just go through here, help me pick one that I can communicate with. Okay, so this is the first envelope. And for the first envelope, I'm going to be putting it here. And I'll be telling myself, show me the photo in this envelope if the answer to the question is yes. And I'll pick a second envelope and put it here. Okay, right here. And I look at this and say, show me the show me the picture in this envelope if the answer is no. Put this aside. Now it's time for me to make my sketch. So in my sketch, um, when I focus on the uh, photo, I was telling myself, uh, show me the uh, picture that answers the question best, okay? So what I did is um, I saw, the first thing I saw was a big arch and then a bunch of circles around this. Um, it looks like people, but uh, they're, they're outside. So um, it looks like people in an arch um, somehow, okay, and a bunch of round things. So now it's time to check my photos, okay. And the, the first one we're going to check is behind the Y, yes, okay. <laughs> And guess what? <laughs> um, I picked up people, arch, outside. So this is a pretty good one, okay? Um, so this is a pretty good match, okay? And we'll leave it here. Okay. And that's for a yes. Second one. <laughs> wow. This one is a better match. <laughs> this one is, um, actually, this is more like what I drew. So we put aside the yes. And now take a look at this, how it looks. It's pretty cool. Okay. So <clears throat> both uh, targets came out really strong. However, if you take a look at um, this one, which is no, and you take a look at this one, where I had only one person, 
okay? But here I had multiple people in an arch with circles. This one is a better match, okay? So it uh, looks like it's pulling towards no, okay? Now, since we don't know the, the question, um, I'm not fully convinced yet that the answer is no, <laughs> okay? So, um, in order to get that next answer, okay, where did my pendulum go, okay? So, the next thing I do is pull up my dowsing pendulum, okay? And I'll clear the pendulum and train it. So it says, show me yes. So, swinging back and forth is yes. Show me no. Thank you very much. Now, regarding the question that I drew, show me the right answer. So it's swinging side to side. So the answer is no. Now let's take a look at the question. And the answer is already no. Okay. Here you go. Wow, here's a question. And this is something that I really wanted to know. Will it be safe for me to travel to Florida to collect the lottery jackpot in 2020? Strong no. Okay. So it looked like uh, for me playing the lottery, um, and especially if I win, I need to start playing this on uh, the lottery where I can go probably in 2021. So this is the method I use for a um, question that can be answered by yes or no. And any type of situation you run into can be reduced to a series of questions that run uh, that can be answered by yes or no. And using these two methods uh, to support each other um, will help verify whether you, what you're reading is accurate or not. And for me, uh, based on the reading from um, the pictures and the way the pendulum uh, was behaving, uh, I need to use caution if I'm going to be traveling anywhere in uh, the year 2000, especially up in the mainland. Okay, 2020 is not a good time for me to go to uh, Florida. So this is Dave Wallace coming, for, uh, coming to you from Waihua. And if you are enjoying the series um, of videos that I'm providing, please share it with other people that you think will benefit from this, um, especially my training videos. These are things that I do every day, <laughs> okay? And um, these are tools that I developed and use um, quite often. And you can set up uh, this pretty easy, okay? And it just takes practice and time to work. Okay, and this is Dave Wallace saying aloha until Tuesday. Uh, I see you later. <laughs>